Hey there everyone, this is Jeff Perkins with JD Cutlery doing a quick video on the great new Jake Hoback Paraclete. I'm real excited to have this one in stock. Um, out of all of his models, I would uh, definitely say that this is my favorite as far as the overall wicked look uh, in the appearance of this knife. Uh, definitely uh, one of my personal favorites of his lineup so far. So let me go ahead and hit some of the specs on this knife real quick first off. Um, this one, uh, Jay Kobeck actually uh, came up with the idea when he was visiting the Jet Propulsion Lab at NASA a few years back. Um, the design was kind of inspired by that trip and uh, I must say that I'm pretty pleased with the results on this. Uh, overall length on this is 9 inches. The blade length is 3.75 inches with a closed handle length of 5.365 inches. Um, it is designed for a tip-up carry either right or left-handed and it weighs in at 5.2 ounces. Of course you have the titanium handles which I've uh, removed the stone wash on three of them, done a satin finish and hit with a nice anodizing job. You do have uh, G10 inlay inserts on both the blade and handle on these as well. And of course we've added some lanyards. Uh, to make it a little easier to get out of your pocket. Well, let's go ahead and hit these one at a time. Go ahead and start with uh, this green one up here. So I did go ahead and do a light satin finish on the handle to remove the stone wash that was on there. And then, uh, like I said, because I went with a light satin finish. It gives you a shading effect on the handle, which gives you just a little bit more depth. I am really pleased with the overall appearance of these. Um, this green one, the gold and the blue are all, actually all of these are very good as far as uh, fingerprinting. Um, the higher voltages mean less fingerprinting. Titanium pocket clip, of course has the Hobeck uh, axe on it and of course his Psalms 23 is uh, imprinted along with the Hobeck. Um, he did switch over to the Torx hardware on this one instead of Allen wrenches which I was pretty pleased about. Uh, they tend to hold up a little bit better when it comes to taking these knives apart. And this one is just a really nice knife. It very, very nicely fits in the hand. Ergonomically designed. I mean, it just, it, it feels really good in the hand. Pocket clip disappears. You can see how I've got a little bit of extra purchase out here behind my fingers. I do have what I would consider a large hand to give you an idea what these guys look like. And the action on these is very nice. Pops in very nicely. Nice and early lockup. Looking 15, maybe 20%. And these guys center up really nicely. Um, you do have a G10 backspacer. And of course we've got the lanyard. Just It fits so nicely in the hand. And the G10 inserts in the blade are a nice touch. I haven't seen inserts in the blade on other knives, uh, with the exception of probably Brian Ty's got those carbon fiber uh, molded on top of the handle, but this is actually an inlay in the blade itself. There is a slight bit of texturing, but it's very, very slight. You, just barely feel it in that G10. So this is the green one. Let me go ahead and hit this stone washed version. So I did this one with the dark blue 
and I did a bronze stone wash to it so you can see the brown stone wash pictures on the website are a little bit better than the video quality here we did go with a bronze pocket clip to match the brown stone wash again nicely centered and they just flip out really nicely with a little bit of work I'm sure that blade will just fall right in there just with the uh, repeated flipping and I mean I myself I'm a real fan of the way this one fits. Pretty wild looking knife. Definitely a mean looking piece. So again, lock up on this one is probably about 40%, 40, 45%. But man, these are some slick knives. And this is definitely what I would consider a little bit more affordable in his lineup pricing. Um, the Buster was coming in at uh, what $7.95 or $7.75. Uh, the Paraclete here is coming in. Let me check it just real quick to make sure. Comes in right at $500. So $500 is what he's charging for these I guess you would consider them the mid-tech version because he hasn't done any actual custom customizing on this one. But uh, 500 is definitely a pretty nice price point for his knives. For the size of the knife and the quality you're getting, very happy with this. And this one turned out really nice. It again is the satin finished with some shading left in it with the gold almost gives you a brassy appearance with that uh, shading just a really cool looking knife I almost I'm kinda stuck between the uh, the green and this gold one as far as which ones are my actual favorites um, the inserts fit in pretty good you can feel a tiny bit of the edge on a couple spots up here is all smooth there's just a tiny bit that you feel there nothing back here so yeah some of these you can feel the insert just a little bit sticking up at the edge nothing nothing major but this is one sharp looking knife I really do like the way this fits with the hand again your blade centering is good Lockup is probably about 20 30 percent. That gold is looking pretty sharp. And let's see, we'll jump into the high voltage blue. This one is pretty sharp looking as well. Coloring looks really good. Again, satin finished on this one. And you are M390 on the blade steel. Just a really, really cool looking with that uh, recurve and then that Tonto tip. Definitely a fan. Of course, and my dog's going bonkers in the backyard. Sorry about that. So that is the high voltage blue one. Well, like I said, very happy with the offering of the Paraclete here. It is a pretty awesome looking design. If you have any questions, definitely feel free to uh, email me on the website or you can send a message through uh, the YouTube video. These are all available at www.jdcutlery.com. Um, Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next one.